Welcome to the Mind of Business Success Podcast. I'm your host, Alicia Kramer. We are going to talk about your health today. Welcome to the show, Hope. Thank you, Alicia. Thanks for having me. Now, health, as it relates to our productivity, our well-being, we've talked on this podcast before about different body related stuff in different contexts. It's interesting to me that as human beings, we sort of have like these core pillars that are like our pain points and our highest priorities. Obviously, money, career, success is one. That's what we focus the most on, you know, in this particular podcast. But then there's also our relationships. And there's our health, there's our body. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this with high achievers. If they're really successful in their business, it is not uncommon for there to be massive imbalances in either their relationships or their health or both. Mm Mm-hmm. So you're the expert on the health piece and you're coming at it from a very holistic angle. And so for somebody who's listening, who is experiencing some of those imbalances, maybe it's fatigue, maybe they have some kind of ongoing body issue that nothing conventional seems to be resolving. Maybe they're starting to actually feel like that nagging sense of if I don't take care of what I'm doing to myself, it's going to catch up with me. And Mm -hmm. that's why I think this is such a valuable conversation. Let's start by talking a little bit about how you are helping your clients to overcome some of these types of challenges. Yeah, yeah, everything. I mean, everything. This is a really valuable conversation because I think first and foremost, it's I know it sounds, it might sound trite or cliche, but bodies build businesses, bottom line. Like we need our body to build our business. And that's kind of the perspective I want to give my clients is your body is what builds your business. And if your body is crumbling to pieces and is in shambles, then your business, your the health of your business is only as healthy as the vessel that you have to build the business, right? And so I think that's first and foremost, just understanding that with our health, without our health, we have nothing really. And I think that the the clients that I work with, I work predominantly with women that I work with, it's, there is a little bit of a mindset shift because like you said, it's like typically, or a lot of times we have the focus is on, you know, making the money and building the business and building the brand and all of these things, success and all that, these, these things we have, but, and we kind of let the other things kind of go by the wayside. So there's a little bit bit of a mind shift that has to happen sometimes with high performers. Like we do have to prioritize these other things too. Like you can't let it go completely. So it's like, okay, maybe some, we have to let go of some of the other things or delegate or whatever that looks like to be able to prioritize these other things for the reason that I said, like our body is what builds the business. So we have to be able to put these wellness pieces together and focus on, our own health before we can give back, like put our energy into our business. What are you seeing with your clients? What are some of those common themes that Mm -hmm. just seem to be getting a lot of people? Yeah. I think the number one thing is energy. And I know that may not be like, might be a boring answer, but I think, I think all of us who are running a business or involved in running a business can all say like, we wish we had more energy. I think that's the number one complaint. And women come to me with, I mean, just, you know, the, you run the laundry list of, you know, symptoms, migraines, headaches, hormonal things, you know, anxiety, depression, all things, but energy is almost 100% of the time on the list, whether it's chronic fatigue, whether it's like energy dips and slump th- slumps throughout the day, whether it's I go to sleep and I never wake up feeling rested, whether it's like, I feel like a total zombie throughout the day. It's sometimes a lot of times it's energy with the brain fog. So you just kind of feel like you're swimming in a fog all day. I think those are probably the biggest things. And typically those things are followed by things like anxiety or depression or the other things, because it does start to mess with your hormones and it messes with your mind and neurologically, we're not functioning optimally. So I think the, and I think the thing with the energy pieces too, we, 
a lot of times, especially in the conventional world, we brush things off. It's like, well, I'm running a business. Of course, I don't have any energy, right? Or I'm a CEO. Of course, I don't have any energy. But it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be the normal, typical thing that we're running ourselves into the ground day in, day out, and that we're tired 24-7. That doesn't have to be the norm. I see a lot of people justifying putting off their health because of time. Mm -hmm. They believe that it's going to take too much time or it's going to be too hard to change their diet and change their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like they can they can admit to themselves enough. I'm not eating well. Uh, you know, th- I'm not exercising enough. I'm, you know, running. Uh, <laughs> I'm running here on adrenal fatigue. Like they got, they know that they've got problems that need to be solved. But the thought of addressing those things mm-hmm. feels daunting. Mm-hmm. How do you help someone get around that huge mindset obstacle? Yeah. Yeah. That's such a good question. And I think, I mean, I, I had that conversation a lot with women and I think that especially the high performers, that's the first thing where it's like, it's all about time for them. Like it's the time factor, right? It's the time cost. So I get it. I totally get it. Time is the one thing we, we don't get back. Right. So I, 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 I'd say I just want to like validate that as a, you know, it's a valid concern. I think for me, the biggest thing is how do we get answers so that we're not running around playing trial and error and throw spaghetti at the wall and see what what's wrong, what's working, what's not working. So for me, I'm a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner, which FDNP, I know it's a mouthful, but basically it means I run functional labs to help get to the root cause. So for me, that's the that's the time saver there. It's like, okay, I have these foundational labs that I run. Let's see exactly what's going on in the body. So we don't have to wonder, is it your hormones? Is it your gut? Is it your thyroid? Is it like we can get actual answers? That's the time saver. I don't have to throw a bunch of stuff at it, guess what's happening. We don't have to guess what's going wrong in the diet. Like that gives us the answer. So it's really just using the tools to get to the root cause. So we're not having to guess what the problem is. Now, any high level entrepreneur is going to value that. It's like bringing in a consultant who is clearly an expert at what they do. And they are going to be able to shave off so much trial and error, so much time, get right to the, you know, the root of the problem and right to the solution to fix it. So what you just shared there is really gold. And that is the value of hiring an expert when it comes to any area of our life or business what then is, I mean, what is a realistic expectation for people? If I know mm-hmm. it's going to vary substantially based mm-hmm. on where someone is at. I mean, if their body is really in rough shape, <laughs> maybe mm-hmm. they're substantially overweight, you know, years worth of neglect and poor treatment, uh, and maybe some of their challenges are a bit more complex. Mm-hmm. That's going to obviously be a factor. But what sure. are some realistic expectations when you identify what's really going on within someone? Mm-hmm. How do you how do you bridge that gap then between the we've just figured out where where we've got to focus mm-hmm. our attention to let's now be proactive about getting you to that healthier state of being? Yeah, I'd say you know, like you said, it's going to vary. Everybody is different. But for my clients who are committed, like I'm committed to this process, I'm committed to the journey. I mean, they'll see results within the first three or four weeks of us working together, just because that's the thing that this is why I love working with high performers and entrepreneurs and business owners. It's like, they know how to take the action, like taking the action is not the problem. So it's like, okay, I give them the plan. We got the plan. Let's take the action. So that part is easy for them, but it's as long as we're committed to the journey, you can see results within the first month. If we're, we're sticking to the plan, but I think the big thing happens when we like we mentioned before the energy thing and how we sometimes we brush it off is like, oh yeah, it's just something that happens when you run a business or what you know, I have kids and I have a family and I have a business and you know, all the things. And we start to brush off so many of these symptoms as common and we just kind of let them build up under the surface. And I think this is the big lesson for everybody listening is you don't have to wait until your body is falling apart at the seams to do something about it. Because, like you said, to your point. The longer we wait, the longer we let all of these things build up, the longer it's going to take 
to build back and heal the body. You've been tearing your body apart for a decade or more. It's, it's not going to get fixed in a few weeks. It's just not going to happen. So I think if we have, if we can have the mindset as high performers, business owners, you know, whatever we are in this, that's listening in this realm of high performing people, um, if we can just have the mindset that of to take the the proactive action, like you said, to do things ahead of time to, and I, and I love the clients. I do have clients who come to me that don't necessarily have this laundry list of symptoms, but they're like, I just want to like a heat check. Like, let me see what's going on in the body. How can I optimize it? I think we're all about optimizing productivity and time and creativity and all these things. So can we look at it that way? Can we look at it as I want to optimize how I'm already performing and not wait till things are falling apart and then take action that way? That is such a good point. And you see that with people who get to a certain level in their mindset and their success. It's it's far more common. And I'm talking about, you know, that elite level status. You see it with, with athletes, obviously, but you also see it with a lot of successful entrepreneurs. There is a shift that happens at some point where they recognize it's time to optimize my body. And mm-hmm. none of us are getting any younger. So yeah. we start to prioritize our well being because we understand if I'm going to be the best husband, wife, mom, dad, uh, business owner, employer, whatever, I've got to be on my A game. And that's going to require like being in the optimal state. Physically, totally. mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And I know that you work uh, with your clients in a very holistic way. And I want to talk a little bit about that because when we go to a conventional medical practitioner, it's not a very holistic approach. And, right. you know, not to give anybody a bad rap because I know that there are a lot of uh, MDs, you know, in our kind of Western medicine uh, model who do really go the extra mile to understand uh, things at a higher level than just, you know, pushing medications and stuff. But let's talk about the holistic side, because I know a lot of our listeners resonate with this. They get it. They're not, they're not looking to just pop a pill and mask a symptom. You know, they are, they understand the power of the mind. They understand you know, oftentimes the, the spiritual side of mm-hmm. themselves and how that plays into their business and their body. What are you doing uh, to address that sort of multidimensional aspect of health and well-being? Yeah, yeah. So I, when I'm talking about well-being, you know, we use the word holistic. And I think, I think sometimes people don't really understand what that means. Like, we think holistic means like we do a bunch of hippy dippy stuff or like it's woo woo or whatever. Holistic just means we're putting like the whole person together. Like we're not separating parts. We're not, you know, compartmentalizing different aspects. It's putting the whole person. So like you said, it's the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, putting all that together. And so when I'm looking at them using air quotes, we're looking at the root cause, like, yes, we're looking at the root cause of the physical symptoms. I am in the belief that the physical symptoms always have some sort of emotional or energetic root cause. Like it's happening from something deeper than just what's going on in the physical body with your hormones or your gut or whatever. And so for me, while well, yes, I want to see what's going on in the physical body. I want to do the labs and see like where exactly are these physical things happening. I want to dive even deeper and see where on this energetic emotional level did those things start, right? Where are their, you know, are their limiting beliefs, where there it's conditioning subconscious beliefs that are playing in the background of our minds that are causing these kind of energy, these blockages or stagnation of energy in the body that's preventing this free flow of life force energy from flowing that's causing these physical things to happen and manifest on the physical body. And so I use a handful of different subconscious and somatic modalities like hypnotherapy and NLP and subconscious reprogramming. I incorporate human design. So there's all these emotional, spiritual pieces that we're also putting into place. So like, again, like you said, it's just that holistic piece. And I think that when like, yes, you're going to get benefits from doing the physical things, getting the labs and making changes in your diet, your lifestyle, all these things. But 
I feel like there's such a huge piece we're leaving out if we're not looking at those subconscious things, those deep emotion, energetic things that a lot of times I, I've had clients before who they're like, no, no, no I'm just going to do the labs and you know, I'll do the protocol, whatever. And then they have to come back because they're like, these things are popping back up again. Well, yeah, we, we didn't get to that uh, emotional, energetic piece that's causing the physical thing to happen in the first place. Yeah. I've seen this um, time and time and time again. If we can help someone to shift that emotional root cause, if we can neutralize that, in some cases, the symptom will completely disappear. The, mm -hmm. the body totally. will completely heal. Yep. The other thing that frequently happens, and I always have to explain this to my clients because oftentimes they're addressing other things that are not specifically business related in our sessions. They've got a body thing. I explained to them that usually there's two different ways that a real shift will materialize, will manifest for them. One is it'll be a spontaneous, instantaneous remission. It'll be, you know, healing. Wonderful. We all wish that it would be that way all the time. But sometimes what ends up happening is we've shifted our resistance to healing, our resistance to change. And then the other solution, whether it is, you know, drawing the blood and getting, making the dietary changes or whatever, that, that thing sort of makes its way into mm -hmm. our life. Mm -hmm. And it finally works mm -hmm. like the solution that exactly. finally works mm -hmm. comes into our, our life. Somebody introduces it to us or we do a Google search and something resonates and we say, OK, let's do it. And you actually have clean energy, you know, on it this time. Exactly. And you go and you do it and it finally resolves the issue. And we have to be open to that. We have to be open that we can't necessarily know how that healing, like the time that, you know, it's going to take and all of those things. But when we do that, uh, that holistic approach, now we are, our, our chances of improvement are exponentially better. Yep. hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah, that's it. And it's, it's just what you said. It's that you're opening up that free, free flow of energy. And now you become the energetic match for the things you've been looking for all along when you clear out whatever it was that was holding back that energy. So yeah, it's, it's all, it's all connected. <laughs> it is. I, I would just want to share a really, really quick story. Early on when I had my general hypnotherapy practice, I had a client who was coming to me for weight loss and she was so resistant to Weight Watchers, just did not want to do it. Did the whole idea just felt so restrictive to her. She just didn't want anything to do with it. She just wanted hypnosis to be the thing that would like be the magic switch. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, the 50 extra pounds or whatever was just going to like fall off. Mm -hmm. And I didn't push the issue. I just did my, my thing and I did my processes and I did my work and little by little, you know, something started to shift within her. And one day she says, I signed up for Weight Watchers. Just like something shifted. And mm -hmm. Weight Watchers was, uh, uh, if anybody listens to Bashar, he taught, he calls it a permission slip. It's like that mm -hmm. external thing. Mm -hmm. um, and that was like her permission slip. And just like that, the weight just started to I fall off. That's amazing. And I think we have these wacky conceptions. Sometimes we're a little bit in fantasy land, you know, it's like, okay, even though I've been bumping up against the same challenge over and over and over again, if I just do this one thing, it's going to be like this magic solution. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and on the other end of the spectrum, we have the people who are so resistant they have so much doubt, they have so much pessimism that they block anything that could potentially be mm -hmm. a solution. So you kind of have to find that, that middle ground. Right. Um, let's talk about that for just a brief minute as we're sort of wrapping up here. And what is that ideal mindset going into this type of work? I think for me, and I ask, I say this to my clients in you know, every kind of, I call them functional assessments, just kind of a discovery chat is just going into it with an open mind because I I have seen, but I mean, I've worked with dozens and dozens and dozens of people at this point. And I've seen the difference it makes of someone going in, 
like you said, it's like they want the magic thing. Tell me what to do that's going to fix it. Tell me the thing and it and it doesn't work for them. But if you have someone going into it that is of the mindset, like I'm going to keep an open mind, I'm going to trust the process, I'm going to be open to trying new things, maybe things that I might think are weird, but I'm open to trying them. Like it's just having an open mind and being willing to try new things, trying things that are outside of the box. And that's the thing too, people come to me. I don't know if you know Dr. Mark Hyman, but he he's a functional med doctor and he calls himself the resort doctor because he's like the doctor of last resort. They travel with things. And I always <laughs> say, I feel like that too. It's like everybody tries all the other things and then they come to me and they're like, I've tried it all. Nothing works. So why not try something that you think is weird or different or outside of the box? So it's really just keeping an open mind and trying something new and different and being open to the possibilities. I love it. Well, this is the perfect opportunity for me to ask how our listeners can connect with you and learn more about the work that you're doing. Yes, you can find me on my website. My website is hopefulandwholesome.com or on Instagram, I'm at the Hope Pedraza. And then I also have a podcast called Hopeful and Wholesome and we talk all things health, wellness, nutrition, inspiration, all the fun things. Awesome. I want to thank you so much, Hope, for being with us today. Uh, Great takeaways. I really, really sincerely hope that some of our listeners had a bit of a mindset shift and open up to the resources that are available to really, truly help improve the quality of your health. It's not going to get better on its own, friends. (laughs) 100%. 100%. Thank you so much for having me, Alicia. Well, it's been my pleasure. And thank you to all of our listeners. You know, we are doing this for you. If you have not already subscribed, make sure you do so. And until next time, we will see you in the next episode.